Hello everybody, welcome back to a Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make an invisible person effect. That's right, I've got this lady here. I've got her green screened out, and then she goes from a regular person asking me to come forward to see her to luring me down a hallway and killing me because she's a demon, as you can see here. And that's what would happen in real life if this was real. No pretty girls will do this for me. But that's okay. How did I do this? How did I make the transparent uh, invisible person effect? Let's go starting from scratch. Here's the original footage, the hallway, the girl, all that. Let's go start from zero. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and just delete these compositions so that we're starting off from scratch. The first step is I'm going to set the background, which is this hallway. Uh, I'm going to set this on video track one. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a short clip because eh, it uses a lot of resources and computer power. So we're going to do three seconds here. So follow along with me. That's on track one. Track two is going to be the attractive lady that is going to be asking me to come with her, which of course means she's going to murder me because that's what a pretty girl would do to me. All right, good stuff. Now, the next step is we've got them on top of each other. <laughs> um, now we're going to go to the effects library and we're going to type in the word ultra. When you do that, you're going to get something called ultra key. Drag and drop ultra key, ultra key on the second footage or on the pretty girl footage or on the green screen footage. It's important you got some sort of green screen. So there we go. We've got that. Now, on the key color, we want to click on this little uh, eyedropper and we want to take the green out. And when we do that, you'll see here that she's got rid of 98% of the green screen, but it's not a perfect key. You'll see a little bit of um, uh, around the edges. It's just a little bit sparkly and, and not perfect. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to change the setting from default to aggressive. And when you do that, it gets rid of all of the color casting and and the artifacting and all that fancy stuff. If that doesn't work for you, I'll just tell you right now, you need to go in and you can adjust the, t the highlight, the tolerance, and in particular, the pedestal. The pedestal, uh, if you jack, jack that up, it will pretty much get rid of everything. So I'll just leave it up just for the hell of it. So now let's see what we got. I got this pretty girl doing her thing and she's beckoning me to come forward so that she can murder me in this haunted house or whatever. Okay, good enough. Now we're going to start applying the big boy effects. The next effect we want to apply is called texturize. But before I do that, actually, let's go ahead and turn this top one, this top video, we're going to turn it into a nested sequence. So I'm going to right click on it and then left click on nest. So it's nested and it doesn't really matter what you call it. But you want to do that because the next effect is called texturize, which is I was getting at. And this one works better with a nested sequence. So go into your effects panel and type in texturize. I just typed in text and then bang, texturize pops up. Drag and drop that one onto the bottom footage. I know this is going to seem counterintuitive but for some people, but you want to put it on the bottom footage because we're going to use the green screen footage on top as the texture. So I know it's strange, but just bear with me. Texturize on the bottom footage. When you do that, you get some basic stuff here, but what you want to do is go to your now back to your effect controls panel. You're going to see texture layer. Switch that from none to video two. And when you do that, you're not going to see too much yet, but now go back to the top layer and turn it off. And when you do that, now we have the invisible person effect. Now you can always go ahead and um, animate it in like I did at the beginning. It's just an opacity animation. But this is how you do the invisible person effect inside just Premiere Pro. No After Effects, no fancy stuff, no plugins. Thanks for watching this, guys. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.